to my Kamut garden. I wanted to share with you, show you how I uh, deadheaded the bottom leaf of it. So here's the bottom leaf. So I will do that so it will grow well. Because you can see it's really brown. healthy and well. Very healthy. Uh, earlier this season, there was a couple of cabbage worms, so I picked them up and I feed it to my chicken, so now I don't see any It's amazing. Look how healthy that is. That's a healthy collect. It's about five, almost six feet tall. I'm standing on something, but it looks beautiful. And here, this one, I cut the top part out, as you can see, and it grow amazing well this one too grow really good so I'm trying to test a couple ways this one I, I cut the top part as you can see here is amazing so I need to have this one I leave it the top look at that and then everything else and today I'm gonna harvest them so how do you harvest Colette? You probably watched my other video. Not that one. You have to pick from the stem. The stem? Yep. Okay. <clears throat> like that? <clears throat> nope. Like that. The bunch. Okay. So only get the one that's the bunch. Right here. A bunch. So you have to carry the whole thing like that. 
Like this? Mm-hmm. Okay, good. Oh. Yeah. This guy is cool. Yep, there you go. Don't let the rest grow. Yeah, go ahead, keep, just a tiny bit. keep harvest that. That's just... Okay, good. And that one. I like the rat. Okay, and well, this one grow very well too, all the way down to the stalk. So as you can see, cleaning up our collet. As you can see, we got pretty good size of harvest collet, and this one is Brussels sprout. As you can you can tell Brussels sprout and collet. So. It's amazing. So we're gonna do Colette and Brussels sprout chips out of our harvest from our garden just now. So I'm just doing some cleanup. So as you can see, I'm separating so that we have the leaf separately and the Colette. This is a perfect size. So here, this is a good size. This one was supposed to be a Brussels sprout, and this is the Colette. So I have a good size of all this, so we're going to make them, and I'll show you the video. So first we're going to soak this in water and put salt so that all the bugs come out. This is uh, soak them in water. Salt water, not just water, salt water. So this is for our salad. This one is to oven it, roast it. So as you can see, this is one way to clean your collet and Brussels sprout leaf so that all the bugs that stick to it will be coming up. You can see whatever it is. So this is in salt water, soak in salt water. For how long? Depending on you, how long you want it. From 15 minutes to an hour. But mine I like to soak a little longer because I'm just like that. So let it soak a little longer. Nice and crispy. Mm. I'm gonna take on mine. 